In this video, I want to show the process of how to take a Fusion 360 design, put it into a drawing, and then export that drawing to be input into AutoCAD, select line layers, set up layers, and ready that file for laser cutting. So to do so, I'm going to go ahead and I have a, I have a design here of a uh, acrylic sheet that is used for a 3D illusion lamp. And so uh, this is our Batesville Bulldogs logo that I've created. And so I picked it because it's got a lot of neat geometry and it'll show the various layers that we might choose in order to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to file and select new drawing from design. And typically it doesn't really matter what type of title block or anything that you use because we're gonna end up deleting the border and the title block off of the page when that happens. So usually I just pick the from scratch, ASME, inch, and B size sheet. So I'll just go ahead and say, okay. Depending upon how big your item is, you may wanna go through and go with a larger sheet size or even a smaller one. So before I place the view on the sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and change the scale over to one to one and go ahead and click to place the view on the sheet and select OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the border and I can press the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of the border and then I'm going to go ahead and select the title block and I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard. So the only thing that I have on here is just the front view, just the line work of the item that I want to have laser cut and that's it. So once I have that I can go ahead and select export PDF, I can choose all sheets or I can choose the current sheet. Either one will select the file. And then I want to make sure to have the line weights and I'm going to go ahead and select OK. I'm going to go ahead and save this onto my desktop and we'll go ahead and call this, um, I'll call this Batesville Bulldogs and select save. So from here, I'm gonna have a, a PDF file that's only gonna have the view, just like what's being shown here on the screen. So I'm actually gonna to move to AutoCAD. And when I do so, here we go. So with AutoCAD, the thing that I'm gonna look at is I'm just gonna go ahead and select to create a new file. So it's gonna be the default AutoCAD drawing file that, that you can pull from. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go up here to the Insert tab and I'm gonna go ahead and select a PDF import as my option. From the PDF import, I can go ahead and select the file that I found that I, that I saved on my desktop, select the Batesville Bulldogs and select open. And the menu that will pop in will show kind of a preview. And usually what I do is I keep all a lot of the PDF data import, like the vector geometry and any fills use PDF layers if they're if the ones that are existing. And I usually just leave these settings alone and say, okay. So I usually bring in all of my geometry. So you can see here is my Batesville Bulldog geometry that I have. So I'm gonna switch back over to the Home tab. And from here, if I go under the Layers panel and I select the drop down, you're gonna see that we have a layer zero, which is which is always part of our uh, any AutoCAD file. And then they have PDF visible as one layer, which would be all the visible line layers. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is set to the layer zero and I'm gonna choose the layer properties button. With layer properties, I am able to, I'm able to set up new layers in here. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and select select this button here to add a new layer. So layer one, I'm just gonna change this to, this is gonna be my cut layer, and I'm gonna change the color over to, and from the color select menu, I'm just gonna choose red, or a lot of times this red down here is very usable as well. I can add another layer. Usually there's like a scoring option in a lot of those, so I'm gonna make that to be blue. And then if we want to have an engrave option, I usually make that color to be green. So as far as that goes, all the line types are going to be continuous and we don't have to worry about any, you know, we're just going to stick with the default line weights. We're not going to change any of those. We really just need the colors and the layers. The only thing that we need to add that would not be something that, that you would not, that normally you wouldn't think about would be 
adding a new layer and I'm going to call this the viewport. And with the viewport is when we go to set this onto the paper space here in AutoCAD, we are going to have an outline of the viewport. So I'm actually going to change this over to, we'll change this just to a black outline. But I'm going to actually here under, under this option, you're going to see you've got a plot option. So the plot means that, uh, that when you print or that you go to plot this on a plotter, that this line will show up. If you click that and it has a little red dot, it actually has a little minus sign inside of the dot, that means it's we're not, that this anything set to this viewport layer is not going to print out, which is actually what we want. So we don't want to print that outline or have that show up in the laser because that's going to be something we can, we'll be able to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the X to close the layer properties. And then from here I can go around and I'm just going to go ahead and select. A lot of times what I'll do is go ahead and select a lot of my outside geometry. So this one here I created, it has a lot of arcs uh, just because of the, the nature of the bulldog. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit and just keep going around and grabbing the outside edges of this. So these are all going to be cut lines to be able to cut out of my acrylic material that I'm going to use in my Glowforge uh, laser cutter. So from here, once I have all the line, outside lines selected, I can hit the drop down and it send them to the cut layer. So now they'll turn that red color. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key and I can see I've got one arc that I missed and I can go ahead and just send that to the cut layer as well. So again, hit escape. So I'm going to see that, okay, the whole outline is taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and on the drop, I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm actually going to turn off the visibility. So which is the light bulb icon to the layer for the cut layer. So since I'm on layer zero, that layer gets hidden and you can see those red lines disappeared. Now the reason why I just took those away is because it's easier rather than me having to grab all, because all these other lines, I'm wanting to just score those into the material. Huh? So. So that way it, I can see the outlines and the and the, the edges that are going to be shown. So I'm actually just going to click and drag, create a selection window to select all the lines. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to send those to the score layer. And they'll all turn blue. So rather than selecting all those individually, I can just grab them all with the selection window. I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn on the cut layer, which now is going to give me a red outline showing that these are going to be our cut lines. This will be what your laser will cut. And then the blue lines are going to be what they score in, not necessarily cutting through, but will just cut a little bit into the surface of your material. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and once I have this set up in the model space, I'm going to go down to layout one tab. And here will be the paper space, which we'll have. So here's the outside of the viewport. So this is the outside edge. Notice how it highlights the outside edge. I'm going to go up here to the layer and assign that to the viewport layer. Again, remember, it doesn't. it's not going to look a whole lot different, but when we go to generate the PDF, we'll see that this outline is not going to be there. So the other thing I'm going to also do is I'm going to just kind of double click inside of the viewport. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn off the grid. So that's down here in some of our settings. So here F7 or grid mode is toggled on. So I'm going to left click to turn that off. I don't want the grid to appear. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and now click out of this. I can double select and double click there. If I select the viewport, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and choose the properties from the right click menu. The properties menu will show up here on the left side of the screen. So it'll show you like what color that it's set to and everything like that. The main thing that we need to watch out for is we need to watch what they call the, as I kind of open up some of these, it's gonna be our scaling. So they have the annotation scale and the custom scale. So rather than having a custom scale, you know, we wanna go through and set this to a one-to-one -one scale. So the custom scale was fitting it to the size of the viewport we want to set it to one to one. Notice that there's one half. Let's set it to one to one. So that's the main thing that you want to watch for whenever you are going into creating this. Standard scale is what you want to be set to make sure that you're getting the right size of item that comes out of your laser. I'm going to go ahead and close the properties bar. And then from here, once I go through and have that, 
I'm able to go through and really just now print kind of quote unquote print this out of AutoCAD. So I'm actually going to grab up here the plot icon. So plot is actually rather than print. And here it says, you know, our page setup and everything that we have set up that we have going on. So what I like to do is it gives us a paper size. We have a printer plotter so we can choose what kind of printer we want to send it to. I'm actually going to generate another PDF. So I'm going to select Adobe PDF from this. And then we want to go through and set, and we want to just go ahead and it's going to plot to a file for us. So paper size, we want to go ahead and choose something that may be uh, like a letter size would be fine. What the plot, it's going to print the layout. And what I would usually say is if your layout doesn't work, you can always choose the display or even the extents and those types of things. So there's the extents kind of showing up. You notice the previews there. And what we can do is really, I don't change a lot of the other settings here. Just make sure the scale is set to one to one. And I go ahead and say, okay. So it's gonna send this to the plotter, which is gonna generate a PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and do, we'll, we'll put this as AC for AutoCAD. Just so that way we don't overwrite our original file. Batesville Bulldogs. And I'm gonna save this to the desktop. So now what I'm able to do is once it once it does, it actually shown up my other screen here, is here is the file that's in the PDF. So there is our line work. Notice the viewport outline is not showing up because it's on the non-plot line. And there's our, there is our uh, geometry that is being put in there. So that is kind of the process that I can go through and do. And then what I can do with this file is I can take it into and import it into any of the, uh, any laser cutting software that supports a PDF style like this. And what this does, especially in Glowforge or some other so software applications, the differentiation in the colors for the lines allow it to pick out that the red outline you can choose it to set to cut or you know to another operation same thing with the blue lines and be able to do that so this is kind of a very common process that i use in order to create laser uh, cut items again i'm using a glowforge laser so depending upon what model you have it could be a different file type but uh, this is how i use autocad to um, change the color of the lines so that way it's a little bit easier to create the settings I need in my laser cutter.